Okay. What we got here, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see it here. There it is. It is a giant hole in the exhaust manifold. It looks like it's about about a quarter size. I'm going to try my best and repair it with JB Weld. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work. It's on a 5.7 Penta, Volvo Penta for my boat. Um, I might try and take this piece of steel, put it over the hole, and then JB Weld it. We'll see what's going to happen. Um, making a bunch of noise. Scaring the hell out of everybody, but let's see. Uh, let's continue on. So what I'm going to do is in that hole, I'm going to clean it out the best I can, so the J the the JB weld will would it will adhere to it. Uh, problem is, the more I grind it, the bigger the hole gets, and I'm not finding any hard metal. All I'm finding is rust. So we'll see. I'll keep you posted. All right, let's see if I can get the drill down there. I got a drill with a <coughs> grinder br brush on it. I'm gonna try and grind this out here. Get a better view that way. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna clean this disgusting mess in here that I just created. Sand. We got to make sure we avoid those these nuts right here. You don't want to get any JB bond on these nuts because then that weld will never come off when when it co time comes to replace this uh, manifold, which is approaching very quickly. However, this is a quick way of rigging it and making it as strong as steel. JB weld. The type that we're using is the quick, and it's uh, up to a good. It's three uh, three hundred degrees Fahrenheit, so we're pretty good there. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna stop the thing and continue to scrub this for a while. I'll be using the JB stick. Never used this before, but um, it has a epoxy. It's more like a, a, a play, like a clay almost. You mix it together till it turns gray. And then you uh, apply it to the hole, and it sets up in five minutes, and cures within an hour. So, hopefully this thing will work, and uh, and that horrible noise on my manifold will go away. I'll give it a shot. Still sitting there digging away, cleaning out, cleaning out the. I'm trying to remove all the residue. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Take it out. All right. Just cut a piece. How big of a piece do you think we need? You have the utility knife right there. I got. I got a razor blade. I'm gonna cut my leg. Think about that much. Give it a, shot. a shot. Okay. Hey. See that? Two different colors means one's in the one, one's in the other. Let's close this up. And now we just start kneading it. Oh. Well, we don't want to knead the sticker into it.
got to work somewhat fast because it, uh, it says that it sets up in about five minutes. We want to keep mixing it until it gets about that color there. See it? So it's a uniform dark gray. So you can't see any more of the light gray. Put a little water in there. Just a so I can tack my fingers up a little bit because it's getting a little tacky on me. Okay, looks like it's about uniform. The hole, oops, I'm going to say looks about like that. Alright, Al, you want to put it in there? I'll take the camera. I think you may get it too big. Pressing it in there till it's flush and starts tacking to it. What happened? Yeah. Started breaking apart. Make sure it's sealed real good around the edges. Let's smooth that out a little bit so it looks like metal. <laughs> Well, you gotta wait for it until it starts to set up a little bit more. All right. In the meantime, we've got to put the belts back on the back on the motor, and then uh, let it set up for about an hour. All right. Well, I got the belts on. Turn the flash on here. See if you can see in there. That stuff feels like hard as nails. It's unbelievable. So we'll see in a minute. We may build it up another another time uh, just to make sure it's got a thick enough bond on there because that was a pretty large hole in the manifold. Um, hopefully this will all work. Well, it's still in pretty good shape. The engine's still in pretty good shape. The, the risers are about a year old. You can tell they're pretty new. Well now it's, you know, I replaced the impeller, and the water pump, had the um, alternator housing rebuilt. Hopefully everything's done right. Won't be able to. It's, that noise is the bilge running through. <coughs> Today's the day to see if our JB weld hole fix worked in the intake manifold of my 5.7 GI Volvo Penta and uh, let's see if it works. And it works like a charm.
I am, uh, I gotta say I'm ex extremely surprised. I was expecting it not to work, but it held. I was a little concerned because there was still a considerable amount of rust. A considerable amount of rust uh, where that JB well hold is. So I'm pretty impressed. Good job, Alan. Everything seems to be running properly. I hear no exhaust noise. And I think it's fixed. So that's the power of JB Weld. Um, made a $1,000 uh, $1, repair. Cost about $6.99. So, uh, good job. Hopefully it'll hold. You know these aren't meant for permanent holds, but uh, but I, I think uh, I think we got a good fix here.